there Capricorn this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your weekly love rating for October 23rd to October 29th this is for the sign of Capricorn now this may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people and I have pre shuffled these decks so if one falls out I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down I'm only gonna shuffle for a moment this is for the sign of Capricorn the 23rd to the 29th of October. I'll zoom this in when I get done laying them out. I'm just going to make sure this is zoomed in correctly. The basis of your reading is the Four of Cups. Okay, I think many of you may be thinking about wanting to start over, wanting to do something new. I mean, wanting a new start. Maybe many of you are feeling, were feeling down or are feeling down and feeling like, you know what, I would like a fresh start. I want to start something new. I want something to end so that something new can happen. You may be thinking about somebody from your past, okay? Maybe somebody you knew as you were a child or a teenager may be crossing your mind at this time and you're dreaming about them. That could be the case. I feel like... Um, we have, we have quite a few players here, but I feel like there's some sadness, there's some grief because you might, you have to make a decision. I think that many of you have to make a decision um, and, and something needs to break, okay? This decision involves breaking something because we have the tower. So I think many of you, you know, are having these desires, these thoughts, these um, memories of somebody perhaps from your past or some love that you had before, you know, you're just feeling, feeling, uh, about feeling, um, maybe regrets, I don't know, or you're having some thoughts about somebody from your past, I think many of you, and hoping that, wishing that you could just start over, or, or it would be like that again, okay, and I think that you probably have to, to, um, be honest with yourself about something, it's time to be honest, because I see a lot of honesty here, where you really need to be honest with yourself, be honest with your heart. I think you guys, many of you are contemplating letting something go. And to let that thing go, it's going to hurt, all right? But you're really, really thinking about it, and you you just don't know what to do. Um, you're trying to keep the organization, you know, you're trying to keep things under control, and you're trying to... Um, do the right thing, okay? It looks like you're trying to do the right thing, but it's the right thing doesn't align with your heart, okay? So that that's kind of interesting. But you know what I mean? You're trying to do the right thing for everybody but you. That's what I'm trying to say. And I think that you really need to be careful with that because is that what you do owns you, okay? So whatever you stick yourself with, I mean, the, that's your destiny, okay? So it's seriously time to do the right thing for you. And I think many of you, it's on your mind somebody from the past, okay, or the love that you had in the past and you just want things, you want a new start and I think that you, you're you ready to end something because we have the death and the ten of uh, wands and the ace of, ace of uh, swords all in the same lineup, okay. This tells me that something needs to, um, you would like something to go away or to end but, you know, you're afraid to hurt somebody in the process so you know I think you're you're having dreams of the past and you're really depressed because of it because where you're at right now is not leading to wish fulfillment okay it's not okay it's time to for some closure nines are about closure nine nine right together it's time for closure on something and the thing is is right next to those is honesty Okay, well, this is very honest, even if it hurts, and this is when it does hurt. So, you know, it's about time to be honest with yourself, 
Okay, be honest with yourself. If you want something to end, you need to let it end. Okay, you need to. I think with the death card, it means something is end. It's a major transformation. Okay, it means that something is going to end so that something new can begin. And right next to it is the tower. Okay, that's a break. That's a breakdown. Something needs to break. And I think you're thinking about it, whether, you know, you should cause the break or if you should just keep going with it or what. But when the tower comes out, it's like a divine intervention. <laughs> okay, it's where, you know, something breaks down and you it hurts it hurts but it's a blessing in disguise because it starts a new beginning so I think this week okay this week it looks like you may you are contemplating doing the right thing for you okay and that may be um, looking at something from a new perspective and cutting something out okay so you might have to cut something out um, Seriously, because cut, 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 I mean, seriously, I think many of you are going to have to cut something out that you've been carrying around that, you know, perhaps you're worried about what society's going to think or your father's going to think or your mother's going to think or uh, your neighbors or whatever. You're, you're not taking action because you're worried about what other people are going to say. But I see that you need to put yourself in the driver's seat, master your emotions and move forward. Do the right thing for you. I see that many of you need to bring some closure. Okay, you need to bring some closure. Because um, it's causing you... It's too, There's a lot of depression. There's depression over it. Um, I see it's a time of rebirth. Okay, with the death and the empress right next to each other. It's seriously a time of rebirth for you. It's time for you to start over. Seriously. All right. Um, I, I think that something is going to break down and it's going to cause a new start. I really do. And it's something you want deep, deep down inside. You just don't have the courage to do it on your own. So, uh, yeah. We have Cancer. We have Aries. We have Taurus. We have Leo. We have Virgo. We have Scorpio. We have Aries, Libra, Sagittarius. And we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. We, I think we really have you thinking about somebody from your past or somebody from your past is thinking about you, okay? And if, you know, they could come back into your life and, and you feel like, and now that's the burden, you know, maybe that's the burden is these, this person comes back into your life and you're like, I still have feelings for this person or my feelings are so great. But, but I'm, already, I'm in this situation and now I, you know, why, now what do I do? I mean, because this is for hundreds and thousands of people. And bits and pieces may resonate, and bits and pieces may not. And this is for Capricorn. All right, Two of Pentacles. That's about change. Change is on the horizon. It definitely is. Yep. There's been a lot of conflicts. There's been a lot of challenges. I think that you're having conflicting thoughts. Seriously. Big time. And many, many, many of you are reminiscing about somebody from your past. And you're having regrets. You're having regrets. And in a lot of inner conflict. I think that... Um, and you've been ignoring it. You've been ignoring your own wants and desires. I mean, look at the fives in this poll. Five, five, five. Expect the unexpected. That's what five means. It's also power struggles. Life choices, big ones. Big, big life choices. Um, and, and fives are also about letting go of the old to bring in the new. And I think many of you are thinking about that already. At the beginning of the reading, I, I brought that up. That many of, you, many of you are thinking about something from the past and you're ready to start something new. You're thinking about letting something go, letting something die, letting something end so that you can start anew. Something more exciting. And I think that this week you, you, know, you could take action. You could or the universe might help you to take action because we have the tower here. This is somebody, the, you know, the divine might take action for you, okay? Because you've been ignoring the situation, ignoring your feelings, ignoring your heart, okay? Because you didn't want the conflict. Nope, 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 I don't want the conflict. I'm just going to pretend that everything is okay. 
you know, because you didn't want the conflict. But that's why the tower is here, is to say, you know what, you're going to have to struggle through the conflict. Change is on the horizon. I think you're thinking about somebody from the past, or somebody from the past is thinking about you. We even could be mutual, okay? And if you don't know who this person is, um, they could pop right in, and then you'll realize it immediately because you'll you'll feel the you'll feel the uh, pull, you'll feel the connection. All right, the heart connection. It's just all there is to it. There's a there's a connection with you and somebody from the past that could show back up this week or really be prominent this week in your thoughts, and you won't be able to ignore it, which you have been trying to ignore. Okay. It's a time of renewal, okay? It is. It's a time of renewal. I think something needs to end with the death of the tower, um, the ace of swords, something, and the five of cups. I mean, and there's about being honest with yourself. This is an Archangel Michael card. I was shuffling while I was talking, and now I'm going to read it. Have confidence, my prayer. Archangel Michael, please lend me your courage and fortitude. Help me realize that I am one with all that is divine. Like I said, there's a divine help here. Wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. About yourself. I see that you guys have to be honest with yourselves. And this week, I think you're really contemplating whether you should end something or not because we have this death card, okay? And you're really thinking about it. I think that there's like there's like an unrequited love in your life where you're just not feeling it and you're thinking about somebody from your past or somebody's thinking about you. All right? Because it can go either way. So this is uh, for the sign of Capricorn. For the week of October 23rd through October 29th. Now remember this is a general reading. So it may not resonate with you. It may or it may not. Talk to you later.